So here's the sketch. This took about. Then I'm gonna start on the orders. Yeah, there it is on the laptop. I finally finished this artwork that I was doing. And here's like the finished product. So here's the sketch. This took about 30 minutes to do because I did go over. Okay. This took about 30 minutes to do because I did go over with the ink. What I did. What? That makes sense. I went over it with the ink. So that took a minute to do. So here's the sketch. And then I transferred it. Like I'm going to show you right now. That's just the sketching. Only had one layer, so I just colored the background purple and then erased everything. And then went one by one coloring in stuff. So yeah, that definitely took a while. And yeah, so I am going to print this out. That's why I made it like a big size so I can print it out. Just to kind of remind me what I want my brand to be. So yeah, I'm going to print this out. I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to print it out tomorrow. And I'll show me printing it out just so you can see it in person. Okay, before I start cutting, I'm going to show you what I ended up printing. Because I ended up printing quite a few deans. So first up, it's the Lace Hearts. I did new ones, like a new version of it, smaller. And then I printed out um these so uh, okay i printed out this one same thing but like a black and gray one oh yeah i printed out these two because i was testing out new scrapbook paper so the paper which i hate it's always going to have like those lines on it i don't know if you kind of tell right there but there's always going to be lines on it because it is just plain paper so yeah, I did those two, and then I cleaned my printer a little bit, like the loading plates and whatever. Did like a test print to make sure everything was okay. So yeah, cleaned my printer a little bit. This was the first one, because I did two. Because with this one, the lines were like very noticeable, like you can't even see it on this one. Like they're like really noticeable, so I thought that oh plus this one had a smudge on it so I thought that it was time to print to clean the printer so that's why I even started doing that and then I printed out these spider webs these ones I'm not gonna add as scrapbook paper this is just something I did for fun really and then the lace hearts the original one I don't know I was looking at it and I thought that it was kind of too big for like journal so that's why that's why I did the tiny one so I redid that one and then I finally was able to print out these um red dots I don't know why it was it took forever whenever I tried oh hold on my arms I'm getting tired whenever I tried to like print these out before they never worked I don't know if it's just because of the internet but I finally got to print them out so I got the red version and I got the blue version which I am really happy about. Happy that I finally got to print these out. And then also along the same note I finally got to print out Daniel's Vacation sticker sheet. I've been meaning to put this out since January but I just wasn't in the mood to but I finally did it. Um, originally this was like a full sheet of paper but I changed it just because it was a bit too big so I changed it to a smaller version so now I got two I can get two sheets out of it so yeah this is smaller than the original one and then the pine trees calendar dates 1 through the 31st plus with the extra blank one so yeah, same thing. Finally got myself to print it out because I've been meaning to print this out since January. So yeah. And then like I said, I'm reprinting this one to see if there's like a color difference. It kind of loaded the paper. I kind of loaded the paper on, which was my bad. 
so let's see and there is not a difference and then finally I like I already showed earlier my headphones are in the way I have the I don't even know what it's called but the print that I did based off my brand name so yeah I printed it out and actually I really like it um, if there's white like freckles areas that's on purpose I um yeah that's on purpose I try I was gonna do like a solid purple background but for some reason it looked kind of weird to me so I decided just to keep this um white spaces on there to give it a unique texture I guess I don't know I just thought it looked weird with like a complete color background so yeah I actually really like this though it looks really pretty to me I like how it came out so yeah so that is everything I printed I just wanted to show you before I start cutting and making a lot of noise because I'm probably not gonna film that much cutting this time I'm not really in the mood to cut filming you know what I mean yeah but on clear matte paper because somebody ordered clear matte paper and I don't have like some on hand so I'm printing these out so that I have them and I'm also transferring some videos my new camera the memory card doesn't have that much memory I didn't even look at it I need to get a new SD card for that to where it has more memory I thought I bought some like SD cards I'm pretty sure I did I just don't remember where I put them because I put them somewhere it's too dirty so I'm gonna go eat because I kind of got up late too so yeah I'm gonna go eat and then once I'm like full and like satisfied then I'm gonna start on the orders print stuff because the prints stickers that stuff print and then get started on those that's pretty much what I have to do right now Um, sorry, my fingers are kind of red. I had Kool-Aid last night, so they're kind of stained a little bit. But anyways, um, so last night I did the orders. I had two that I had to do. I didn't film them though, just because I wasn't really in the mood to do so. So I didn't film them. One of the orders wanted the matte clear, matte paper, and I messed up two times. But I did manage to give the person like a nice clear matte sticker without no problems but for the rest of the stickers it didn't work out the first time I messed up it was with the printing I accidentally yeah you can see it at the top the top half of her hair got cut off because I decided to do borderless printing and some of the stickers were like near the top of the print so with borderless if you don't know it kind of enlarges the image a little bit and that's what it did with some of the stickers it enlarged it 
picture to where the image flowed off the paper so they didn't the printing didn't get the top half of her hair so yeah that was the first problem and then it's been a while since i cut um the clear mat and i forgot that was my fault that it's better to wait a while for them to dry up i like totally forgot about that so while i was doing the orders they were still kind of sticky a little bit a little like they needed time to dry and i forgot and i just immediately cut them and at first it was kind of fine nothing really happened but then when i sat down at my but when i sat down at my main desk to put together the orders that's when i noticed it um i don't know if i can find it find some all those like white specks on the sticker are from when i was cutting the paper because you know sometimes when you cut paper the like fibers are still kind of there like in the air a little bit near them and like on the edges so i guess when i was like moving around stuff the fibers got a chance to like move around too a little bit so they moved off the edges and onto the print this one has it like really bad Yeah, and because the stickers are still like sticky sticky, not like sticky sticky, like they're kind of in the later stages of drying up, you can't really brush them off like you would with other stickers. Because I'm basically all stickers kind of do that anyway, because you're cutting up the fibers and whatever. So that was frustrating. Yeah, there it is on my laptop. Um, I probably should have cleaned the area first. Yeah, it probably would have been a good idea to do that. So yeah, that is the clear mat. You know, it is clear, so it's going to see through. So I'm also going to do, show you how it looks on like paper. Okay, I'll do two pages. I'll do this one and then I'll do, actually, I'll do this page and then I'll try to find a blank page, like the actual blank. Oh yeah, I guess I could do it on this side. Okay, we got some good news. Um, So the paper flex freckles dots whatever you want to call it came off on this one this one did have like the least amount of paper dots on it yeah it did come off of this one so i'm gonna try to protect that one um it's been 24 about 24 hour ish since i printed it so yeah um i tried to do the same for these ones it didn't work out there's just too much on these ones to actually save them so point is is that i should probably wait at least about a day before i cut them so try to remember that next time but these ones i can't really get them off this one i did which really makes me happy because i can at least have one in stock right now so i just showed you the one when it looks on a laptop which i should have cleaned like i said here's how it looks on like a i'll try to get up here's how it looks on like a background background with like textures and like designs you can see the designs coming through and it kind of forms to the color so this print is already kind of brown to begin with so like it really highlights the browns that should be there unlike this one where it has like that hue of red this is how it looks with the white background everything appears so if you're interested in seeing how matte clear matte paper will look like on different days that's how it will look like um clear glossy has the same effect except it's more a little bit more glossier than the matte um but a heads up i know for a fact that the clear matte or that the clear glossy takes a while for it to dry hence why i don't have it in my shop because i don't really have room for it to wait for it i wanted something sweet so i just got a bowl of cereal and also i am editing out pictures mm -hmm. 